Hello guys welcome to the new video. In this video we will optimize Intel graphics and unlock maximum performance. Let's begin. At first we will start from changing some Windows settings. Open the settings and go to gaming. If you are not using Xbox Game Bar, disable it. Then in game mode, ensure it is turned on. Now go to personalization. Click colors and turn off transparency effects. After that, go to privacy and search for background apps. As you find, click it and disable unnecessary background apps. These apps will consume high resources so turn them off. Then go to Windows Security and in Windows Update, pause the Windows Update as it starts update services at any time which also sucks performance. Close the settings. Right click in Desktop and click Graphics Properties. Wait till the Graphics panel opens. Now click 3D and click Restore Defaults. This will reset all the setting that you have made before. Now turn off multi-sample anti-aliasing and select performance then hit apply. Then go to power. Ensure that maximum performance is selected. For laptop users like me, disable power saving technology and ensure extend battery life for gaming is disabled. Close the graphics panel. Now, guys it's time for effective optimization. Click the Discord link from description and join Discord server. Go to download link section and click the link under Intel GPU Max optimization. Then download the file. As you download unzip the file. Now open the extracted folder and click increase VRAM folder. Open task manager. In performance tab click memory. You will find your RAM size here. Now click the registry file as per the RAM size. Mine is 8 GB. Now go to Runtimes folder and run the DirectX setup as admin. Then follow me. Wait till it installs. Click Finish and run Visual C Setup as Admin. Click Install. After it installs, close it and go to Software and CMD folder. Click Quick CPU and 32 or 64, as per CPU then run the setup. After it installs, launch it. Click the options at top and click CPU set to maximum performance. Then click accept. Now close the software. Then open CMD folder and copy the optimized batch file to C drive. Run the file as admin. Now exit CMD. 
guys if have low end PC and want to play some games at high FPS, then only follow this last method. Basically we have to install modded driver. Let's start. At first open task manager and in performance, click CPU and note your processor name. Then open any browser. Type your processor name, and at last type generation. Hit enter. Guys you will get your processor generation here. Like I have 5th generation processor. Remember your processor generation, and after that open discord. And go to download link section and click the link, as per generation of your processor. I have 5th generation processor, so I will click link under 4th and 5th generation processors. Click subscribe box and subscribe my channel. <laughs> now click unlock link. At first, add page will open so close it. Again click that unlock link box, and then required link will open. Then download the driver. After downloading driver, follow me. Open that previous folder. Click before installing folder and run the batch file as admin. This file will activate test mode. Now close the file and folder then restart your device. After restart, to ensure test mode is enabled, you can see watermark at bottom right corner of your desktop. Now unzip the driver that we have downloaded. Then search for device manager. Open it. Click the arrow aside of display adapters. Then right click the adapter and click update driver. Follow me. Click have disk and then browse. Click desktop and the driver folder that we have extracted before. Click graphics and select the INF file. Click open and OK. Then click next and wait some time. Click install this driver anyway and wait until the driver installs. As installation completes, click close. Close device manager. Now follow me. Click after installing folder and run the batch file as admin. Now close of the batch file and open folders. Then restart your PC. Guys you can see that watermark has been disappeared. Also driver installation becomes successful. Here this video ends, if you have any queries or confusion regarding the video feel free to comment, and don't forget to like and share the video. Love you guys.